Hey everyone and welcome. So the biggest news in the bodybuilding world today is that Justin, who is the top contender to win New York Pro 2021, has dropped his coach AJ Sims and is going back to Abdullah from Kuwait, who is also Brennan Carey's coach. Keep in mind, Justin achieved his career's best conditioning with AJ, especially before Chicago Pro, where he placed a close second to Akeem Williams, and later on went to grab 10th place at Mr. Olympia 2020. Now, I'm not sure it's a wise move to switch coaches so close to the competition, but as we don't know the reason behind it, so we can only speculate. Justin made some incredible progress with AJ and I hope that his consistency with good conditioning continues with Abdullah as well. Because as of now, 6 weeks out, he looks on point. Everyone is waiting for Rolly Winkler to announce his next show because the beast has been looking amazing in his recent posts. Many people still underestimate Rolly's potential even after watching him become people's champion in 2018 and placing third at that Olympia. Latest news from his camp is that he's back with Yamamoto Nutrition, a company he worked with in 2018 as well. As we all know, there is very little chance that Phil Heath will compete at the Olympia 2021. So of all the other athletes that are fighting for the title, and by that I mean the top 6, Rowley has beaten all of them at one point in his career. So he just gotta bring New York Pro 2010 conditioning with the added size. Nick Walker and Blessing keeping the drama alive as we are 6 weeks out of New York Pro now with Blessing taking shots at Nick's waist being too thick. No one is gonna argue the fact that Blessing is definitely more aesthetic than Nick but keep in mind it's not a waste competition. If we compare progress pictures of these two then first we have to address the fact that lighting plays a big role in revealing more details and all of Blessing's pictures are taken in ideal lighting while all of Nick's pictures are taken in mediocre light. We can make all the predictions that we want and talk all about how freaky both of these young guns are looking but until they both step on stage the result is unsure. My money is on Nick Walker because I think his physique is more complete at this point. Another teaser from Akeem Williams who must be giving nightmares to all the competitors fighting for New York Pro title. According to recent photos, Akeem can be stage ready in 6 weeks and all the predictions will be null and void if he decides to compete at that show. Akeem is now a top 6 Olympian. Now that's a totally different ball game. Gotta be challenging for a recovering Flex Lewis to train with these two monsters, Hassan Mustafa and Rafael Branda who are on top of their game but Flex is taking on this challenge on a daily basis. Rafael and Hassan feel honored to train with the legend like Flex Lewis and we cannot wait to see what they bring to the bodybuilding stage in 2021. Flex Lewis competing in open has to be one of the biggest stories going into the Olympia this year. And last but not least, George Peterson's training update who has applied no break since his third place finish at the Olympia 2020 in the 212 division. I think George's inclusion in this division brought a lot more excitement and hopefully this year Keon will be bringing his absolute to the Olympia which will make this division a lot more exciting. Since the dominant Flex Lewis is no longer there, all the guys in the top 6 must be thinking Sean Clarida can be taken out. If you like the video, please do subscribe the channel. Thank you.